After completing the capability based planning using the matrices, you have to write the plan. The plan should have background information on the situation analysis, purpose and objectives of the plan, institutional and legal frameworks for operationalization of this plan. This is called, the planning matrix is called relational data because the items are related to each other under strategic objectives, operational objectives and activities. However, the background information to the plan is called non-relational data because it is descriptive. It is important for advocacy purposes, defining the concept of operation, showing who is in charge, showing the justification for the capability tables by showing a succinct disaster hazard analysis plan that you earlier on developed. We shall introduce you also to the adept planning method. ADEPT is short for the Automated Disaster and Emergency Planning Tool. It is based on the matrix that you've been using, but an electronic form of the matrix. It converts relational data in the plan into an automated electronic reference, so that you sort by activities, by time, by personal and responsible, and you are able to quickly get to what you want. ADEPT recommends the following approach to planning. Establish the partnership, determine the planning context, collect the planning data, then make the plan, negotiate the plan, write and present the plan, but validate the plan and revise the plan accordingly. Populate the plan with relational data, that is, prepare the SOA matrix for each capability. Thereafter, populate the plan with non-relational data, that is, prepare a succinct background to the plan. Present relational data in tables, that is a matrix, one table per capability. The capability tables, as we said, contain strategic objectives, operational objectives and activities, and responsible parties, and the times and budgets. For re-emphasis, this is an example of the matrix. In this session, we are mainly concerned with the non-relational data. Determine what non-relational headings are desired and assign responsible parties to write or collect information on these non-relational items. That is the background information. Write or collect information on each heading. Headings proposed include introductory material, the purpose of the plan, the concept of operations, the plan development and maintenance, and then authorities and references. This is an example of the detailed plan headings that you are going to use to develop the background material to your plan before you present the capability tables. Take some time to flip through them. Therefore, you show us some administrative issues in your background, the executive summary, the approval, table of contents, how this plan will be reviewed and maintained, how the plan will be distributed, and the authorities and references. In the introduction, tell us the purpose, scope, policy, and plan organization. Tell us the situation, the risk assessment, the HVCA that you have already con conducted. Put it as part of the situation analysis in your plan and tell us the planning assumption. Describe in detail the concept of operations, alert, notification, activation of this plan and how it would be deactivated, command and coordination issues, communications. Tell us the roles and responsibilities of different persons in the event of a disaster and you may attach, addenda, showing terms and definitions, acronyms and abbreviations, tables of organization, department organizational chart, 
divisions and bureaus. These headings can be modified according to your situation and context. Therefore, in the next or following activity, you go back to your groups and write a background to your plan based on this scheme that is shown. Insert a title page, give a brief introduction of the document, a letter of reference or statement of authority, situation and assumptions, a description of the concept of operations, who is the lead agency, other agencies that are cooperating, the incident command structure in the district, and how these agencies would be coordinated. Would there be a disaster management committee in the district? And how would this relate with all the different parties in disaster response? Thereafter, you will insert the capability tables that you have prepared. And then you can assert, insert appendices. Don't forget to tell us how the plan will be reviewed and maintained. You can now start the activity of preparing the background information.